Cinnamon. 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 I don't think that's right. Hi, I'm Josh, your American English Guide, and this is English Hacks Pronunciation, where I help you to sound like a native and to understand natural American speech better. So today we are talking about the M consonant sound and the N consonant sound, and they're just really not that difficult. Of course, let me know if for some reason that they are difficult for you. Now, both of these are nasal consonant sounds, just like we talked about with the back N, mm, normally written NG. Let's start with the M because that is definitely the simplest one. But if you want to skip to the N sound, you can do so using the timestamp. All you do to make the M sound in English is simply close your lips. That's it. Hmm. The only problem that I've noticed from some students in the past is that you might try to curl your lips into each other, like m, m. And English does not really do that unless you are emphasizing. So if I say it's my car, I don't have to curl them in to do that, but that's the only time that we really might curl it in. Otherwise, we just want a nice solid contact. Just like with the P and the B, it's the exact same placement. Let's look at some examples. First, at the start of a word. Me, mix, men, mom. In the middle of a word. Camera, damage, emerge, timing. And at the end of a word, I'm, Sam, seem, from. Now let's move to the N sound. We have a couple more details to talk about here, but it's still pretty simple. First, note that this is what I actually call the front N because of the other N, the NG, is what I call the back N. N. I also sometimes call this N the normal N. This is of course the sound N. Mm. So to make this sound, all you're going to do, this is your front teeth here, top of your mouth. There's this little bump here behind your teeth. You're going to just bring your tongue up and touch the top. That's it. It's exactly the same position as T and D. So we don't want to be flat on the teeth. Although there is a little bit of variation that's possible depending on the sounds around it. Now we're going to look at some examples, but first I want to point out something extremely, extremely important. And this was actually mentioned by a subscriber named Amit in one of the recent live streams. We talked about with the NG, the back N, that we closed the back of the tongue. Mm. And usually when you see NG, that's what's going to happen. But don't trust your eyes. Focus on your ears. There are words such as danger, where it's actually not N, it's not danger, okay? It's a regular N, front N. And the G in that case, the letter G, represents the J sound, not the G sound, or the lack of g sound as we talked about before. So in words like danger, the G is pronounced, but it's a J and the N is not a back N. So be careful with that. Always focus on your ears first. Now that we have that, let's look at some examples starting with the front of a word. Need, no, not, nut. In the middle of a word, honor, answer, fantastic, funny, and at the end of a word, in, bone, run, pen. Let's actually talk about two very common and important linking or connection rules with the N sound. So first we know that the first general rule of 
linking in English is that consonants always connect to vowels between words. Now, of course, N is a consonant, and it will connect over to a vowel. If I say on it, on it, we're talking about two special rules. The first rule is what I call NT plus vowel. So NT plus vowel says that between two words and sometimes inside of a word, when you have N, T, and a vowel sound, the T will disappear. This is a very, very common thing, and it's one of the easiest ways that you can start sounding more natural in English today. A basic example would be went on. So you could say went on and keep the T. That's not likely. You could also do a stop T, went on, and that also can happen. It will sometimes come out that way, but that's also not the most likely thing that will happen. The T will disappear, and we're going to get when on, when on. Usually, there's only one T, which is at the end of the word, not another T at the start of the next word. But we know we have want to, which does have a T at the start of two, and this becomes wanna, because NT plus vowel will drop the T, and then two reduces to T, so we keep the a uh sound, wanna. As we'll talk about later, the preposition to is so common and so reducible that some strange things can happen with it, and this is one of those cases where both T's disappear. And a third example of this would be inside the word wanted. We very, very commonly pronounce this not wanted, but wanted. The T will just completely disappear. Inside of a word, this rule doesn't always work, but if you listen carefully, you will commonly hear it in many words that have NT followed by a vowel. Another good example is internet, which is internet, but we drop the T. So that's NT plus vowel, and I encourage you to try to hear these things happening when you're listening to English. Tune your ear to what's actually going on, not just what you expect. The second common connection or linking rule with the N sound would be N plus TH. If you haven't seen the lesson about the TH sounds, definitely watch that because you're going to learn some interesting things. But one of the things we talked about is how, yes, there is a perfect clear position for th or th if it's voiceless. And that's generally right behind these front teeth here. It could really be anywhere behind them, it doesn't matter. But one thing that natives commonly do is they will do a dental T or a dental D instead of a TH sound. And this is apparently something that most natives are not aware that they do. And if you ask them, they will say they are pronouncing a TH sound because we do not have a dental T or a dental D in English. So instead of saying on the or in thinking, it makes it really easy to just do this. Of course, you can always just say these things clearly. There's no problem. And sometimes they will come out that way. But this is part of the variation and this modified N to modified TH, that is a very common thing that happens in spoken English. And again, it is not informal. It's just a common way that we speak. And to end this lesson, we're going to have a special tongue twister that mixes the N and the M. The cinnamony, sea anemone, is a synonym for minimes. The cinnamony sea anemone is a synonym for minimes. The cinnamony, the cinnamony, the cinnamony sea anemone is a synonym for a pack. The cinnamony sea anemone is a synonym for minimes. Make sure you don't miss the next lesson in this course. Feel free to leave any questions or comments especially if anything I talked about here is at all difficult for you. Of course, a very special thanks to our Patreon supporters. And thank you guys so very much for watching another English Hacks lesson. I will see you in the next one.